Hello and welcome to the seminar. My name is Chinmay Patel. I am Principal Applications Engineer with Microchips High Performance Microcontroller Division. Focus of my engineering career of more than 15 years has been on development of real-time system software. This is the first in the series of short seminars that will introduce you to concepts of real-time systems. In this seminar, we shall discuss the fundamental concept of task and relevant topics. Expected length of this seminar is 15 minutes. Let's get started. So what is a system? A system is something that solves a problem. For example, to solve the problem of dirty dishes, we can design a system of dishwasher. As we know, when we start a dishwasher, many things happen. For example, water intake, motor operation that swirls water to clean dishes, water drain, etc. Dishwashers also provide a variety of wash cycles to handle different types of utensils and amount of cleaning they need. Also, if you open the door of a dishwasher in the middle of its operation, most probably it will sense that the door is opened and it will stop its operation. And the latest high-end dishwashers may even have an LCD display that shows various status and control information on the front panel. An intelligent unit such as microcontroller can manage various functions in a system in some coherent way. For example, a microchip PIC microcontroller embedded in a dishwasher can manage various functions to fulfill coherent operation of the dishwasher. So what is a task? A task is a group of instructions that execute on a microcontroller to solve a portion of the problem. This group of instructions performs a function of a system. For example, in a dishwasher system, the following tasks may exist. 1. Water manager. This task manages the water intake and drain. 2. Motor manager. This task manages the direction and speed of a motor according to the selected wash cycle. 3. Door Manager. This task tracks status of dishwasher door and informs other tasks of the current status or any change in the status. 4. Display Manager. This task tracks status of various functions of the dishwasher and displays it on the LCD mounted on the front panel. Let's talk about multitasking. While zigzagging on a highway with a cup of coffee in one hand and a mobile phone in the other, we are multitasking. In this case, the central non-intelligent unit in our system, the brain, is managing multiple tasks of driving, drinking, talking, and potentially safely switching the lanes all at once. Likewise, in the dishwasher system, the microcontroller may be concurrently managing a variety of tasks such as water manager, motor manager, door manager, display manager, etc. Each task individually thinks that it has the full attention of the microcontroller. However, in reality, the microcontroller is attending each one of them according to the predetermined scheme called scheduler. We will talk about the scheduler later in this seminar. Now let's talk about the most essential aspect of a real-time system, the deadline. In our dishwasher system, say the water manager task is currently filling the water in the chamber. When the dishwasher is full with water, the water manager task should immediately shut the water intake. Otherwise, the water may spill out of the dishwasher. Every task in a real-time system is characterized by its deadline. A task is expected to perform its function by the time allocated to it, meaning before the deadline. The time allocation or the deadline may be absolute or relaxed. For example, if a task must perform its function within one second, then the deadline is an absolute deadline. On the other hand, 
if the task should perform its function in about one second or so, then the deadline is relaxed. When the deadlines are absolute, the real-time system is called a hard real-time system. The tasks in a hard real-time system are governed by rigid time constraints. When the deadlines are relaxed, a real-time system is called a soft real-time system. The tasks in a soft real-time system do not have rigid time constraints. The deadline for the water manager task in the scenario mentioned above should be absolute. Otherwise, the probability of spilling the water would be quite high, resulting in many unhappy dishwasher owners with frequent wet floors. On the other hand, a display manager task may have relaxed deadline. Obviously, if a real-time system task fails to meet its deadline, it may have dire consequences. Since there is only one microcontroller performing many different tasks of varied importance, it is imperative to determine task deadlines and their relative importance in the system. This leads us to the concept of priority. Priority determines the importance of a task in the system. In a real-time system, every task has an assigned priority. The higher the priority, the better the chance of the task executing on the microcontroller and meeting its deadline. So, in our dishwasher system, we may assign higher priority to the water manager than the display manager. This ensures that when the water needs to be shut off, the ongoing display update will not unduly delay the water manager from performing its job in time. No water spills, no wet floors, happy owners. But how does the priority actually help coherent functioning of the system? Using priorities of each task in a system, we can devise a scheme that allows coherent operation of the system. Simply, by preventing the low priority tasks from doing their work when a higher priority task wants to do work, we can maintain coherency of operation. In other words, by virtue of its priority, a task can preempt lower priority tasks. This prerogative of higher priority tasks to perform its job even when other lower priority tasks are performing their job is known as preemption. Let's see an example to explain the concept. 